What's up guys, my name is Technumber here for Troubleshoot and in today's video I'm going to take you through a really simple Discord crash course. Basically in this video I'll show you how to add a bot to your server that will send a message and upon reacting to said message you'll get yourself a role. This is incredibly useful and especially if you're looking for a quick tutorial on this, this is exactly what you're looking for. Of course there's tens of thousands of bots and the bot that I'm going to be showing in this tutorial is just the one that I'm using. You're free to go ahead and pick anything else. I'm not at all related to the creator or the product. So to begin, let's go ahead and open up Discord. Over here, I have my Discord server. And if I go to Service Settings, Roles, you'll see I've got no roles. Basically, I'll be adding the bot to my server, creating a role, and then creating that actual message in the text channel that people will react to. So what I'm going to do is head across to the link down in the description below where we can invite the Zira bot. You'll be taken to zira.gg slash invite and we'll get to the screen over here. Assuming you're signed in with the correct Discord account, we can go ahead and invite it straight to our server. Of course, if you're not signed in with Discord, head across to discord.com and change your account there. Then come back here in your browser. Then I'll click the drop down and pick the server that I want. After I've selected the correct server, I'll click continue and make sure that all these roles are correct. Usually you can leave these all as is. I'll click authorize and after completing the bot test, it will be invited to my server and we can close out of it. Then looking at my server, here is the zero bot. So to begin, let's start by creating ourselves a channel where they'll get a role. I have one over here and let's create an actual role. So service settings, roles, and I'll call it say test. I'll make it yellow and I'll make it display from members separately. Now you have to have it under the actual Zira bot, otherwise it won't be able to assign the role to other people. If you have it above, then you won't be able to give that role to other people. Anyways, now that we have all of our roles below the Zira bot, we can go ahead and actually run the commands. So as you can see, my name is blank and I don't have any roles. What I'm gonna do is create a channel where we can go ahead and spam a lot of commands. You can choose to do this, or you can choose to do this in the same chat that you'll actually have the role picking message in. Though of course, just to keep it clean, I'll make a bot channel, we'll type in here, and then when we're done, we can go ahead and delete it so it's nice and clean. So to begin, we'll go ahead and type in some commands. If you'd like to see the rest of them, head across to the second link in the description down below, which is the support page. It may be a bit confusing, but as you can see, we'll use Z forward slash for most of the commands. I'll be going through just a couple of basic ones in this video, just to get yourself off the ground. Of course, you're free to look into it as far as you want. So in this bot channel, I'll do Z forward slash help as such, and we'll get a list of commands and info. Basically, we'll be setting a channel, setting a message, then I'll set an emoji and a role. Super simple. So to begin, let's set a channel. I'll do Z forward slash channel space hash, and I'll enter the name of the channel that we're gonna have the actual role giving message in. I'll put it in get a role just to keep it nice and separated. I'll hit enter and we'll see this over here. So now let's actually type in a message that we'd like to react to. So Z forward slash message space followed by the message that we want. So I'll say react below and you'll get a role. I'll hit enter. And as we can see, a new message is sent to the get a role channel. If I click on it, react below and you'll get a role. Though of course there isn't a reaction. I'll head back to the bot channel and we'll give it an emoji and a role to give. So I'll do Z forward slash add space colon and we'll enter an emoji. I'll click my emoji list, select something and I'll add it here. Though of course I'll skip that because I'm not entirely sure what emojis might be there. Anyways, now that I've set an emoji next to Z forward slash add, I'll put another space and we'll type in a role of sorts. So there's multiple ways to do this. We can type in just the name of the role, which we can get from server settings, roles, test. Or we can enter the ID for it, which we can get by right clicking it and clicking copy ID with developer mode on. Or we can simply just hit at and click on the role that we want to use. So at test, you can of course do that, test, or you can enter the ID for the role but I'll use the at test just because it's a little bit easier. I'll hit enter and we'll get a response like this. Heading back to the get a role channel, you can see there's a little tick box that we can go ahead and click. Upon clicking it, you'll see that we now have the test role and it's there. Upon unclicking it, you'll see that the test role is gone. It's as simple as that. Then of course we can go ahead and add more roles. As such, we'll add a new role 
enter, and it's been added to that same message. Then if you'd like to use custom emojis like this animated one over here, or an emoji in the actual text, you'll need to make sure that the emoji is on the same server that the bot is on. So preferably, you add it to your own server. After doing that, we can do z forward slash message space and add ourselves an emoji. I'll say click below for roll as such. And as you can see, I have a little down arrow animated emoji that I've added to my server. I'll hit enter and we can see a new message. Click below for a roll and I'll go ahead and make another roll that we can get by reacting. As such, save changes and I'll do the same z slash add use an emoji and select a role as such. And having a look at the get a role channel, we have three over here. This one, this one, and this one over here. Upon checking all three, we have test, role, and test two. It's that simple. Of course, to simply get rid of one of these, you can simply right click and delete the message. After you delete the message, it'll no longer be able to remove that role. You'll have to do that manually, though you can simply add it back as I have over here using Z message and add reaction, and then you're basically done. There are a ton more commands that we can do with this. I won't be covering them in this video. This was just a super simple, quick video showing you exactly how to do this if you'd like to get a good start. Anyways, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.